So as it goes, I've already touched upon the topic of white saviors. Okay, thank you my babies, bye. Put a sock in it, oh my god. But I've decided to take a further dive into this topic to just see the impact of what they have done in today's society. And for starters, I only think that they've done negative. And in their pursuit of a positive life, they've done quite the opposite and instead ended up in a life being more negative. But I must say first and foremost, hey -o, I'm toasted. Uh, ideas. And here I talk about things that interest me. I like to think about things critically and have my own opinion because then I'm not a sheep to any specific person or thing. I cover topics from the left to topics from the right, while also not forgetting about the topics in the middle of absolutely nowhere. But let me begin. So who is a white savior? Well, from my view, I typically see them on X, TikTok, or YouTube reactionary clips of TikTok, which, as we all know, as rational people, is the land of the lost and also the land of the forgotten. Because most people just write them off as crazy because there is typically no rhyme or reason to people on any of those platforms. And from that, they are typically the people fighting the fight of a non-existence because people just typically don't listen to them because they have such polarizing ideals that even those who they're fighting for don't listen to them. Now, for starters, I would like to note that all of those clips from that video going over white saviors is of people who are on TikTok. But seeing as I myself don't use TikTok, I therefore don't see them there, aka the YouTube reactionary clips. So uh, yeah, though to continue on, I have to question, what is the mindset of these people? Because they're by far one of the most excluded groups of today that not even black people like them. My point was that black kids in Chicago get killed every single day. Where is the Black Lives Matter in Chicago? Where are they? When black people kill black people, they don't come out and do this crap. The only time they do this crap is when a white person touches them. They are the racist. They are the racist. Because white, people, white cops, it's wrong for a white cop to kill a black person, that's for sure. But if it matters, it should matter at all times. So what are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? You're not here to fight injustice. You're here a to cause drama. A better message will be stop violence. It's not about blacks. In a unicorn world. That's not a unicorn the balance, world. Period. Okay, sit your soul. You guys are so you blacks are oppressed. I am black. I'm not oppressed. That's I am for you. free. That's good for you. That's an individual person. What about a systemic issue? Where? I am black. I've always wanted to be. I have a like. I do what I want. You have the skills. This is a country where you have the skills. You want to do what you want. You do it. Okay. Stop. Stop forcing on people to accept that they're oppressed. They are not. I am not oppressed. I am black. Stop making people accept that they're oppressed. You're forcing a rhetoric into your mind, which is not true. That's my point. Violence is wrong. Period. It's not about blacks. You agree that whites kill black whites too, right? Have you seen any white person coming out and saying white life matter or white thing? No. Violence is wrong. Do all the time. Every time there's a black violence, lives matter it's a protest, problem. a white it's not person a black problem. It's a violence problem. The blacks kill blacks in black neighborhoods every single day. I have never seen a black lives matter in those neighborhoods. Never. Never. You know what they say? When the black person kill a black in a black neighborhood, they come out and they say, when the police comes, you know what they tell the police? Snitches get stitches. Snitches get stitches. But if a white person kill a black person, black lives matter. Stop the hypocrisy. Nobody takes this seriously. Nobody. If it matters, it should matter in black neighborhoods. You start cleaning at home. Why don't you go? Why don't you, you start? At home. Why don't you start? I'm not carrying anything Why saying black lives matter. I know I matter. Why don't you start? You guys are wasting everybody's time. Okay? Black you black, black more than any race. 
Where's the Black Lives Matter? Where is the Black Lives Matter? I am free. Don't try to make So in the future, learn to understand that the world ain't your oyster and all these people don't think the same. Cool, we square. I know we're not because I'm going to have to come back and say all this again. So subscribe to the channel. And furthermore, not even black people who are on the complete side of Black Lives Matter like them. Well, I didn't want to have to say this, but it needed to be said because all white people are guilty of it. Yes, all. I don't mean most. No, I don't mean some. I don't mean a lot. I mean literally every single last one of them. Don't give me that not all white people. Yes, all. This is no stereotype, no generalization, and definitely not no reverse racism. It is a fact. They know it. We know it. They know we know it. They know we know that they know we know it. All white people are guilty, 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 guilty of this. All right, if you're white and you made it this far in the video, congratulations. Here's a cookie. Here's pumpkin spice. What I need you to do next is go into the comments and any white person that you see leaving a racist or reactionary comment without having finished this video to know that I didn't actually say anything that all white people are guilty of, I want you to leave a clown emoji under their comment without context. Just do that for me. In fact, you can even share this and do it to the people on your friends list. Do that work. Black people, sit this one out. We out, you. Now. Although that video is a joke video, I mean, it might not be, I don't know his politics. I do have to say that I really want that cookie. It looked kind of delicious, not gonna lie. But the point still stands that nobody likes these white saviors who are, in my opinion, just cockroaches in today's society. And my guess, which let me know if you think I'm wrong in this opinion, is that like how nature is balanced, I believe that just like how there are people who are legitimately racist, I believe that these white saviors are just the opposite but doing the exact same thing. You know, like how racist people are against any other skin color other than their own, but instead, white saviors are specifically against their own skin color. White privilege. What? Think about it. Whose flesh tone is this? Oh, God. I have brown band-aids in my classroom. I had to special order them. They're twice as much as these, and they're hard to find, and they're frequently out of stock. But when I hand a brown child a white band-aid, I am literally adding insult to injury, and I refuse to do that in my classroom. Really? Seriously? Like, seriously, who cares about the fridging color of a band-aid? Like, oh, my apologies, but it appears that we don't have any white gauze, so it appears that you'll have to sign this form to allow me to inhibit a black gauze for you. Meanwhile, I'm passed out from blood loss, <clears throat> Okay, sir, well, if you don't want the black gauze, then I guess you'll just have to die from your racism. Eh, white people. Like, if I scraped my knee as a child, I wouldn't give a shit about what color the band-aid is. Like, oops, sorry, but we don't have any black insulin, so you'll just have to suffer now. Like, they're so anti-white that I'd even wager to guess that there are white saviors who are angry at this joke. We'll do a racial joke about the white people so you don't feel uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> white people, we like the same foods. Favorite sandwich, peanut butter and jelly. jelly. Macaroni and cheese. Our favorite chips, salt and vi. <laughs> wow. <laughs> who said it? Get the cameras on them. And the worst thing about it is that it's a joke at a comedy club. Like, these white saviors just hate anything that has to deal with white people. Almost to the point that I'm convinced that these white saviors just have a different form of Stockholm Syndrome. Like, they actively made themselves captives to the BLM movement and then stuck themselves onto anything they say and said because the only black people who they disagree with are the black people who disagree with the BLM movement. It's looking more and more like we just have to go out there. Attention patrons of Walmart. I am trying to conduct an interview with Tom Robb. Does anybody know Tom Robb by any chance? Raise your hand if you might know Tom Robb. 
That's wild. I'm not gonna lie. I ain't lie. talking to you, <laughs> nagger. <laughs> that was wild. I'm not gonna lie. That was wild. That was wild. That was wild. That is kind of wild that he's doing that. Like, I mean, he's actively trying to put himself in a situation where he is like physically going to be harmed, potentially. You know what's so crazy? You know what's so crazy? I bet you all these people, when BLM was happening back in 2020 and stuff like that, they were reposting the black, uh, the black square and stuff like that, all that stuff, anything Black Lives Matter related, retweeting it and stuff like that. But I bet you these niggas would never leave their house, go into the field, because how are you going to stop racism if all you're going to do is just cancel it behind the screen? Like, you can't, bro. You're going to have to get down and dirty and get in the field and stuff like that. Again, a lot of this activism is performative. Yeah. It's like, I got an opinion. I'm going to be super loud about no it. Good. I'm going to tell you what it should be in politics. But as far as what they actually do within their own communities or broad, they don't care. Zero. That's why they buy themselves mansions and live in Beverly Hills away from all the fucking ills of the world. They don't live in any of these areas. They don't really interact with it. They try to distance themselves from it as much as possible. No Same good. with the fans. They just be there in the fucking live stream chats just typing away. But it doesn't mean that they're actually involved. So, yeah. I won't take their opinion seriously. And I do think it's dope that, you know, there's a perception of a place and you're like, let me go out there to confirm for myself, not listen to what my parents told me or what the internet told me. Let me go see for myself. And I think there's something commendable about that. Even if it is a little wild and crazy, I think it's dope that you want to investigate yourself. And these niggas are calling me a clown. This is the cringiest shit and stuff like that. But I bet you, if you ask any of these people, they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm totally against race. But if I was to ask them to come out with me, to help like make a change and stuff like that, these niggas would stay right in their chairs, bro. They would not fucking leave their house at all. They would stay right in their fucking chairs and just watch behind the screen. Yeah. Now, while I realized that in this clip of Jadian, it wasn't him going directly against the BLM movement, it was still of someone who I suspect to be part of the white savior shtick, like Hassan Piker actively telling a black person what racism is. Isn't that crazy? A white person telling white people and black people what racism is. Like, I, I just can't wait until an Asian movement happens and then see what these saviors do. They'd probably start telling white people, black people, and Asian people what is and isn't racism. So, like, what a world they must live in to where they're right and everyone else who disagrees is wrong. So once again, I believe that this whole white savior thing is just a modified version of Stockholm Syndrome. Prove me wrong. But I think that that's just about enough of this topic. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Do you agree with my final assessment or disagree? Though, meanwhile you're down there, please consider hitting that subscribe button to become a fellow bread bag. And also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video. And then perhaps they will join the bread box because once again, we need more bread. But... I hope to see you in the next video, and until then, have a good one.